Kyrus has obviously kind of had a crazy start to his season with roles changing and the injury and everything. What did you see specifically from him tonight in the way that he got going offensively? Him being aggressive. Um, he was looking for a shot. Um, trying to get downhill, just being aggressive and being him. And uh, we loved it. Uh, I know he did, just getting his rhythm back, um, making shots, seeing it go through the rim. I mean, his confidence is definitely building from tonight. So happy to have him back out there and being aggressive and being him. How did you see um, Evan take on the challenge, especially tonight with Embiid and the way that in just the bigger picture he's handled centers and the stretch without J.A.? Um, I think he did really well, uh, just battling and competing with the MVP candidate. Um, I mean, it's just show his growth and his toughness and his desire just to be one of the best defenders in this league. Um, so he just took the challenge and he stood up to it. Danny. Danny Cunningham, ESPN Cleveland. JB's mentioned about Evan a number of times that there are certain things on the practice floor that he's able to do that haven't quite made it to game action yet, but it looks like they're starting to. Have you noticed him offensively starting to do more and being comfortable doing more? Yeah. Um, we tell him all the time, I mean, he can do whatever he wants on the offensive end because we know what he does on the defensive end. He has to get rewarded for that. So um, when he goes to his isolation game and – pull-ups off the dribble, I mean, we love that for him. I think we see him make it all the time in practice, and we want him to start being more aggressive and, and taking assertive in his offensive game um, and just believe in it because, I mean, his package is, is crazy. So uh, we want him to be aggressive and get more involved into the offense. And defensively, you guys were bringing a lot of doubles at good times on Embiid and then having a scramble on the back end to filter shots at certain spots. How difficult is that for the full team to execute? Um, I don't think it's difficult. It's just communication and knowing like different spots. Um, and I think that's what we're getting a lot better at, just communicating on the floor. And um, I mean, basketball is just the game full of rotations. So just being in one position, just going to the next X out or next pass out, I mean, that's just something that we just do on the fly. And we just have to communicate that throughout the game. And I think we're doing a really good job of it. Chris. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey, Darius. How happy are you for Mamadi? Super happy. Um, I mean, he's been waiting for this opportunity for a while now. Um, and he came up and played really big for us tonight. Um, had some really good minutes, played really hard. Um, I mean, he helped us on the offensive end, defensive end. So just happy that he was out there just competing. Why do you love defensive three second calls against you guys so much? because they don't call it. So, um, and that's what our bigs are supposed to do is just stand in the paint. Uh, officials don't call it. And when they do call it, it's a 50-50 chance that they make the free throw. So, I mean, it's, it's a win-win in our favor. How surprised were you when you got called for three of them in the same game? It's not a surprise. I mean, that's the official job. They're supposed to call it. So. I'm glad that they called in, and I'm glad they missed two out of the three free throws. Thank you. Marcus. Marcus Anderson with WZIP Akron. Uh, as, as great of a scorer you are already, are you becoming more and more of a facilitator for the offense as the season goes? Uh, you feel like you take a big leap in this offense and become more of a leader and more in charge of this offense? Um, I try to pick my spots. Uh, I think I am the leader of this offense. Um, just trying to put guys in the right position and try to get them in scoring positions where we can be successful as a team. But, um, I mean, yeah, I guess you can call it that. I mean, I'm just trying to play my game, uh, pick my spots where I'd be aggressive, and when people help, I just try to get my teammates involved so they can make the easy play or make this the next play. So that's all it is, just trying to fill the game out as a point guard. Last two, Evan, then John. Evan Danmore right down the equal. Darius, for a guy like Isaac who's kind of struggled a little bit to find his shot at times, how good did it feel to have him connect on that lob pass with you in this game? Just a lob pass. I mean, it just brought excitement. Uh, I mean, but Isaac's going to go get it regardless. It no matter where I throw it, he's going to go get it. So it's cool just seeing him super excited, super hype, and uh, 
I mean, just seeing him building his confidence as the season go on too is super fun just to see. And you guys are nine and one at home this season. What gives you guys such a strong edge when you're playing here? The fans, in my opinion. Um, they bring a lot of excitement to the game. They're always in tune. Uh, they know basketball, so like they calling out plays from the stands and everything. So it's super cool just to hear that. And um, I mean, when you make a run, I think it's really because of them because they're so engaged and just bringing in so much excitement. And when we do something like a lob pass or like a three from JD or something, like you feel that energy and that just carries on to the court and carries on with us. So I think it's the fans that's just having our back, just bringing all that energy to the, the floor. Last one, John. John Rutter, Sports Illustrated Media Group, just kind of following off Evan's question. Just how much do you enjoy throwing that lob pass for an alley I think some of the more animated times that I can remember seeing you on the floor is after you've hooked up a teammate. What does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's just bringing excitement, really. Um, I like seeing my teammates succeed. So, I mean, whenever they score a bucket or something, I'm going to get excited. Um, I mean, just a lob pass just gets me more excited. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the crowd like dunks. That's what we're literally known for, alley-oops and threes. I think that's what we're starting to become. So, um, I mean, you feel that energy when a lob pass is connected. So just getting that energy, getting the crowd involved is super dope. Yeah, it's going to be it, everybody. Thank you. Thanks,